And our big story right now at 6. Traffic during the morning and evening commutes in Baldwin County is expected to get worse, especially if key road projects are not completed by the year 2020. Some experts are predicting complete gridlock. Yeah, as Local 15's James Gordon reports, a new traffic study shows the state will need taxpayers to help put the bill to get stalled projects underway. I went down 98 and got on in Foley, and I was in traffic for over two hours. She's talking about Highway 59, a traffic hotspot we all recognize. But soon, the new Beach Expressway will help alleviate that problem. But Baldwin's gridlock runs deeper. We start to see some problems along the north part of 181 and US 31. Highway planners have their eye on the year 2020. Matthew Brown is the coordinator for the Baldwin County Metropolitan Planning Organization. He says the latest traffic study shows a number of projects need to be completed by 2020 just to keep up with the projected population growth. The quality of life that people enjoy on the eastern shore in terms of being able to commute to their jobs, uh, they will see their travel times uh, become longer and longer if, if we don't find ways to uh, fund, fund some of these projects. Projects like State Highway 181, continuing the widening here of this highway in phases two, three, and four. Also four-laning US 31 all the way through Spanish Fort and an interstate exchange at I-10 and County Road 13 in Daphne. These projects all delayed until after the year 2020 for lack of money. Quite frankly, we're going to have to help supplement uh, ALDOT's obligations to improve these roadways for the capacity needs that we have going forward. This means a possible gasoline tax increase or paying more for your car tax, and in some cases, paying a toll. All ideas that are being kicked around. Baldwin County is just growing up and growing up, and there's so many people moving in that, you know, I know it's going to happen. Another option, cities on the eastern shore may have to give up some projects like parks and rec centers, shifting that money to road projects. The state would in turn match that money. In Baldwin County, James Gordon, Local 15 News.